Well, we love hearing from you, and we have some email questions we'd like to share with you today. The first one uh, comes from a woman named Marifel, and her question, Gordon, is, is AI satanic? Marifel, no, it's not. Uh, AI is a series of algorithms, and, and so it's a mathematical equation. And, and in that, no, there's, there's nothing spiritual about it because it has no spirit. spirit. It's uh, electrons moving through silicon wafers. So um, the, the problem with AI is that it's, it's made in our image, and, and that's a big problem. You and I are made in God's image, and he's given us the ability to choose to do good or the ability to choose to do evil. Uh, and it's unfortunate that all too often we choose to do evil. So AI is looking at information, and that information is all on the World Wide Web. And if you've even done any casual web searches, you know there's a lot of bad things out there. And so if AI is looking at all of that, it's going to start mirroring that. And it, it, it will necessarily pick up some bad things along the way. The good news is you can train an AI in the way to go, and you can limit what it looks at. Uh, so there's a lot of potential for really good things to happen. Unfortunately, there's some potential for some really bad things to happen, but it's not, it's not satanic. This is Bonnie Gordon, who says, which Bible version would you recommend for children ages 8 to 10? We used the New Living Translation for a lot of Superbook, which is that age group. It's uh, 6 to 12, so 8 to 10 is right in the middle of it. Uh, there's also a contemporary English version, uh, English Standard Version. Those, those are uh, all easier to understand. Uh, my favorite version is the New King James, but for a child, uh, New Living is a really good uh, version. Mm -hmm. This is Bertie who says, are women allowed to be bishops or apostles, or can only men be bishops or apostles? Okay, you want to <laughs> get me in trouble. Um, let's look at scripture, and here is a, a scripture from Romans chapter 16, verse 7. So this is what the apostle Paul wrote. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my countrymen and my fellow prisoners, who are of note among the apostles who also were in Christ before me. So here you have in the Bible, Junia is an apostle. So I like to point to Junia to say, well, if the apostle Paul recognized that Junia was a, an apostle, perhaps we should do also.